So they're gonna have two armies and we're only gonna have... Sorry, I'm just... I've been playing uh, war game, airland battle, and the controls are different in that, so I had to think about what I was doing. Uh, they're gonna have two armies, so every time you got an army on the field, it looks basically like this, except without the scout. The scout is just, it comes with the city. So they'll have this times two. If they rush me, I am going to be very, very sad, essentially. Um, we'll get these guys to scout around. Actually, we don't want the scout to auto scout, we'll just. Make sure I find some ruins. And scout's my border. A standard opening with two farms and three guys on wood. Research is a little different because I played the science card, but... The gist of it will be roughly the same. So, the science... It's more of a... Boom slash turtle thing to play. Especially because I've nearly hit my pop cap already. Uh, see there, it's pretty good, but if I put it over here, I think it's even better. One nice thing about uh, the Conquer the World campaigns is that you can get really high resource income like unusually absurdly high resource income that's gonna give me food so you can get things like early science really easily like i can nearly research this which is amazing you really should research that because i'm at pop cap i should be doing that instead of talking about what i'm doing but you know <laughs> gotta keep you guys entertained man Plus the timing worked out well anyway. Uh, let's get the seven. Oh, they're already attacking. Oh, the supply wagon's pretty burned here. Oh, we got their um. Yeah, the supply wagon's burned. We got their supply wagon there, so... If we just, like, run away... ...and don't get in their way, we can make them die to attrition. Plus we can, you know, take that, which is convenient. Uh, run that way? Oh, well, my guys died. What just happened? What? Why did it make a double sound? Alright, they've spread out, so I'm gonna start fighting back. If I get this tower up, I can make them die to attrition. Wait, what? Oh, the archers got inside. Okay, fair enough. I was gonna say, how the hell did I get that much attack power in it? But yeah, that makes sense. Alright, this is already the classical age. Haha, -ha, this is amazing. This is the other thing about Conquer World campaigns. The aging is completely different. And it's kinda weird. So, things like University Order is completely different. Um, and it really messes up your build orders, especially if you switch back and forth between Conquer World campaigns and like the regular mode. Pretty bad, actually. No, not that button. Uh, I think that's what I usually set them to. What is that other mode even for? Idol? Why is it a picture of swords? What the fuck? That doesn't make any sense, dude. Come back. Uh. We need metal. Is that mountain in range? I don't know if that counts, but we'll gamble. I don't want it to be not smeltable. Where's my citizen? Oh. I need my 
government up and running. And I might just set the healthy people goes back to scouting. Man, this game is so different from the regular games. I'm having to think about all the differences. And talking through everything that I'm doing at the same time that I'm doing it is... It's the reason I don't do that much in League. <laughs> but it's fine. We have plenty of... Hello. Uh, I just gotta watch out the light horse doesn't get massacred. He's getting massacred. Please stop hitting him. Thank you kindly. Okay, so we're still behind an army. I'm gonna go for third city. While I'm here... Let's go to some... Wood, wood, metal. Let's get rid of some metal <laughs> and turn it into this. We kind of needed that metal. Well, that's fine. I'll temple the third city. I don't want to temple this one. Decent chunk of money. Wait, what? There's more fighting. Oh god. That's a much bigger army than what I have. Of course, yes, we needed that metal. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, I'm gonna not save. I'm gonna... No, not delete. Okay, I'm gonna set my stance back to stand ground. And we'll try and fight this really slowly. I don't know why they're marching. But they are. They're not decoys, are they? No. Why can't I select them? What the hell? That's weird. We nearly a pop up again. Where the hell did they go? Why are they just sitting there? Ooh, that Pikeman Phalanx is dying real fast. Get everyone inside. Please hop inside before you die. Thank you. Uh, what should you do? Probably build a barracks here. Uh, we don't have the metal for that just yet. Once you're done with that, build a temple so that we stop dying. It's great when we don't die. What I'm gonna start doing is hopping in and out with all my ranged dudes. Just to sort of get some more damage done. Uh, we need more caravans. Did they kill our dude? No, they didn't. Excellent. Should better take care of that. No, maybe not. Of javelin ears. Actually, you shouldn't be inside. You need to be outside healing things and giving the building armor. I need to research the uh, upgrades at my granary and stuff. Alright, it's dead. Perfect. We didn't even lose too many guys. What's the next? Metal production, knowledge. I need to build more universities. Stop preparing. That's not important. 
You can keep repairing, because I feel special. Um... Oh my god. Really need... You do not die though, so, you know, don't die. Can't cancel that, because they're going to kill it anyway. Um... Okay, when you're done with that, build the university. I'm not going to spec into Cav just yet. I want to focus on infantry for now. Uh, I'll get that when I can, just buy us some time. We'll just slowly pick them off like we did previously. <laughs> we can finally research attrition. Finally got enough money. I don't want to get in range of those archers, but I want to draw aggro from the light cav. That's a lot of light cav. Holy crap. We still need more metal production. Perfect, more light cav being aggroed. Oh, we aggroed the archers, that's bad. Especially because we have nobody inside. Plus they just turned into crossbowmen, so that's really super bad. We definitely do not want them to be crossbowmen. We do the research science. So that it's cheaper to go to the next age. We need some more farms. As well, we could still use some more metal production. I wouldn't mind another city sometime soon. Those are decoys. Well, that's fine. Wealth upgrade would be nice, but not a priority. Lost all of our melee guys. Wait, no, we didn't. We have that one, but he's about to die because they have crossbowmen. Live. Oh. It was a valiant effort. I give him 10 points. Really need. I was going to say more watches, but we really don't. We just need that next age. Our force should be big enough that if they try to rush us, they're gonna not get the city, which is important. While I am here, I'm gonna stick three dudes in the city so we can start shooting back. And once I have four military, I will upgrade those guys to fire lances, and everything will be great. Spreading my scholar production around so that the rate of knowledge production is a little bit higher. We'll need more of that, but I need the food because I'm about to upgrade. Uh, yeah, we can spare that. Yeah, build another city sometime soon. Get fire lances. And build some more fire lances. Then get crossbows. And a scout. When you can afford it, a scout. Thank you. Uh, that's a lot of horses. That's a lot of dudes in general. We're gonna need some help. And that's why I need the scout. He's still a little bit away there. I don't know why they're ambushed. Oh, hello. They're trying to cap the city. They're not quite strong enough to do it just yet, though. 
Need another military so that my stuff is cheaper to build. I really need them to reveal as well. Get her. Put an arrow into her heart. Think of the children. Alright, get that supply wagon. Hey, we killed the scout. Alright, I'm gonna research this. And then hopefully we can get the next level of commerce soon. Holy shit, I'm getting destroyed. I must have started focusing my actual units with their cav. <laughs> and of course I'd have like nearly nothing here. I should have bribed something, but that's kind of busy. So we're just gonna spam fire lances for a bit. Because they have range. Actually maybe throw in some No, I don't want to throw these in because I need to upgrade them here. Uh kill it and then run away. So close, most of these are missing. Um should really build another barracks, but here I am not building another barracks. Alright, these guys were supposed to build the city and I never let them. Hmm. Production's pretty good, except for mine still. Yeah, get it. Alright, okay, that's that's actually like enough of this. You can build some other things now, <laughs> like, you know, <laughs> heavy infantry because there's a shitload of horses. Holy fucking shit, dude. What the fuck is happening? These are not decoys. What the fuck? Holy shit. I've never seen this many cab by the AI. Legitimately, never, not once. Not finances we need. No, not finances. What am I doing? You guys are dying to attrition. I'm sorry about that. Can we research? No, gunpowder ridge. Of course. Oh god, they're gonna die. Well, uh, how about get four guys to build it? You guys will. Hopefully get back into our church in time, yes, perfect. Another heavy cav, heavy cav, heavy infantry. Like holy shit man. So many horses. Like yeah, I get you Mongolia, but holy shit, calm down. <laughs> Insane. Alright, now's the time to start specking horses of my own. I don't remember the Conquer the World campaigns being quite the spammy. This feels like the Alexander campaign, and like, not in a good way. Oh, I know what happened. I forgot- no, they're on stand ground still. Okay, I don't know. I don't know why I'm losing so many troops. I think it's just because there's so many horses. And horses don't act quite the same as everything else. Where's my senator? Put that rally point on him. You guys finished, perfect. Put a fort while you're there. And like a market actually. Because we need more wealth. Like what the fuck is this? Okay, some of them are decoys, but not many of them. Most of them are not decoys. I'm just gonna get them to garrison inside for now. Uh, we don't really need the knowledge, but we don't really need the 
Bumber either. What are we at? Very few. Okay. Six, we can get another caravan. I would not mind a temple here. Oh, that has a temple. Okay, uh, we don't need a temple here, but we'll build one anyway so we get a bit more cash from taxation. Uh, Ford upgrade, perfect. Let's get more armor. We don't need that. Like, what the fuck? I know I, I, know I attacked, whereas, like, Outnumbered. Wait, wait, what's happening? I'm not taking any damage. Is that. They're all decoys. The real ones aren't firing. Wow. Okay, that's happening. I don't know why, but it but it is. It's it's a thing that is happening. You'll notice I'm not building many crossbowmen, most of that's just because I'm playing China. Violences are like half crossbows in terms of what they counter. You can kind of get away without using crossbows very much. I feel really bad for my heavy infantry, so I'm just going to get these guys to head in. And then I just sort of generally go in that direction. What are they doing? Driving all of the units at the same time. For some reason they're attacking here? Question mark. <laughs> Alright, well, let's build a couple keeps to keep them at bay. Haha. <laughs> I'm gonna start attacking back now. We just need supply to do that, and we're not going to get it just yet, so I'm building that sub siege factory, not supply, siege factory. Maybe get the scout to go take a look. The capital's back there. Actually, if we attack over here, that would be pretty good. I don't know if this is rally pointed yet, but it will be now. We don't need more knowledge. I wouldn't mind more food and lumber and all that good fun stuff. <sighs> Why are there so many calves, man? Could use some more of our own. Mm, no, that, that composition is pretty good actually. Although I need everyone to get back to standoff, stand ground. Otherwise, I'm gonna start losing dudes, and I do not want to do that. Production is looking pretty good. I just start building like more cities for border push. I think we just got a civics like right then. Yeah, perfect. My citizens are just walking past their army as if it's no big deal. What pros? Alright, and now we are gonna start building siege. We have two supply wagons, that should be enough. I'm thinking four siege, sorry not four, six siege. I don't know why I'm saying weird things. I'm saying like what I was thinking, like the second before I'm talking. <laughs> it just doesn't work very well. All um, well, my information is slightly out of date. Um, they have two armies. Okay, well, I didn't want that city anyway. Go away.
Number four is Siege. Uh, just bought a push a little bit more, because why not? Plus, why do they have two armies? Like, what the hell, man? What is happening in this game? The AI is playing so weird. And I'm just like playing like a bitch because <laughs> I, I a lot of my Ron experience was playing 1v2s where like you always had to play super cautious or you'd just die. We could use another set of heavy infantry just because our battle line's a little bit weird. I can see over here there's not pikemen in front, which I want there to be. One more catapult to go. I might try rebuilding that city and hope he doesn't notice. We really don't need the scholars. But our pop cap isn't looking too bad, so that's fine. Yay! Ready to invade. Alright. Go forth. Well, actually, like. Kind of like this, except then you go forth. Okay, perfect. So we'll take that city and just pile into the scaffold afterwards. Try and get my guys to move forward elegantly. I heavy cab have seen better days, but that's fine. We're about to win the game, so I'm just going to start auto-producing... Maybe throw some crossbows in, because why not? I think... I might have overextended there. They have a shit ton of... People. What the actual fuck? Uh, okay, well, this is turning into Alexander the Great. And again, that's really bad. The Alexander campaign on Alexander the Great Temp campaign on Toughest is actually awful, and like I would not recommend it. Uh, this is frustrating. Oh, one of my trebuchets survived. No, oh, because it wasn't like in combat. Okay, well. Running out of food, running out of metal, have plenty of wealth so we can buy a bunch of lumber while it's kind of vaguely cheap. My god. Where's my senator? There we go. You know what? Let's bribe someone. I'm feeling spicy. Never mind, don't bribe someone. <laughs> I killed all my citizens. Great. <sighs> what the fuck is happening? I just just wanted a nice, relaxing Conquer the World campaign. Instead, I had to fight Queen Madukai. Queen Madukai. Queen Mad Queen Madukai. I don't know how to say it. But either way, we hate them. We hate them. Hate them. Hate them. Because they're rude. Oh my god. Oh, this place has no lumber mill. Well, that's a problem. And one that we can solve. Um, Where's my other mine? There. It's full there. Smelter, perfect. Just, you know what, let's just change it to defensive. And just like, walk into them. Honestly, I think it's good enough to work. Uh, there we go. So now we're just spamming troops. Uh, I th 
think I will stop spamming over here. Otherwise we're gonna run out of resources, plus the troops are not gonna do much anyway. What the fuck? <laughs> this game is too stressful. I didn't I didn't sign up for micro. I specifically stopped playing Wargame Airland Battle because the micro was like way too intense. I was not ready for it. I finished a couple of the campaigns and like I just wanted to turn my brain off. It was there was too much happening. Let's get some decoys because why not? Actually, it's not gonna work because they crowded around my dude. Oh, it worked. Okay, anyway, didn't make very many, but it worked. We somehow captured the city, even though it's surrounded by people. I guess it's because it's mostly support units. Running out of metal, but that's fine. We for some reason have so much wood that we don't know what to do with it. Something stop producing? No. Well, okay. I might get you guys to keep making stuff then. Just one of each though. And I need some more siege. But not too much more siege, because we're kind of running out of everything. Maybe just five. Start working on that. Hmm. Have anyone spare on the left side? Yes. Cut off their supply route. I kind of was wanted to spend much of the capital, but I think it's gonna work. Or if it does, it's gonna be really painful and require me to concentrate. So let's not do that. Who needs concentration when you can just out macro people? So I'm just gonna take a path in that way. I don't get flanked too badly. I'm still gonna get flanked. I just you know don't want it to be extremely bad. There we go. Alright, pull back. What am I missing the most of? Alright, heavy infantry, so... I might get you to go back to just dedicated heavy infantry. We're running out of metal. I don't really know why. I guess it's- well actually I do. It's because we don't have as much metal production as everything else. And we're building a shit ton of heavy cav. Oh, never mind. We just maxed it out. Well, okay, whatever. Go forth. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Maybe I just never played Conquer the World on Toughest. Maybe I thought I did, but I actually didn't. I don't remember it being like this. I don't remember it being this giant slugfest where everything sucks. We do not need you anymore. In service of your country, my friends. In service of your country. Just march to the capital. I believe in you. March to the capital. I believe in you. Where are my other scholars? Yeah. March to the capital. I believe in you. Get everyone to attack, move up. Where's my scooty scoot? Hello. Kill the spy. Where's the spy? Maybe they're already dead? Oh, in any case, there's my city. <sighs> this unit producing stuff everywhere, man. Running out of metal again. Running out of everything now, actually. Probably because we're making nothing but lots of units, surprisingly. That is not good for your economy. Alright, so I got the furthest one to stop producing. 
Did we get that one to stop producing too? We're winning pretty hard now. Even by like Alexander the Great standards, we're winning pretty hard now, so. Oh my god, they built a fort. Piss off, dude. Um you guys don't need to mine, so if you wouldn't mind. Let's build a supply wagon. Supply wagon. Siege factory. What is happening to my brain? Oh, what a shit show. Why are you in range of that? Oh, this is so fucking messy, dude. I might have to reconsider the fact that I'm gonna want to play this thing through to its completion. Like, they built another army. Like, just surrender already, dude. Ugh, oh, they're my scholars. Oh, they got someone. Wait, no, they died. Oh, they got someone. Yeah, skewer them. Yeah, perfect. This is one of the side effects of being on infinite queue. You get all this stuff which can't fit into the control group and it doesn't know what to do because it's dumb as bricks. Oh, I'm gonna get flanked for the rest of the game. I need this to be over. I need to kill this. What I might do, put a couple of siege, put them there, and that should take care of my flank, I think. Yeah, we're close to efficiency on that. Surprising. Wouldn't mind another caravan there. Do I need that? Uh, that wouldn't be too bad. And that's not gonna survive if I build it. Wait, go like there. Uh, I think I'll put this up to 8 siege and chuck in a couple supply wagons. Just for good measure. These guys are too close, I want them to defend the flank, not die doing it. Alright, we need to start taking out the unit producing buildings so that we can actually make any progress. Oh. Why is the AI so rude? <laughs> It'll get a little bit better once I have guns. It'll be slightly less spammy, I think, but. Still, this is pretty atrocious. This is the reason I nearly quit the Alexander campaign. It just becomes this infinite queue spam war. Ideally, you'd bring this production forward, like you'd build stuff here, but I don't really care and we're about to win, so I can be lazy. It won't cost us too much. But man, I wasn't expecting them to put up this much of a fight. And all the times I've played toughest AI outside of the campaigns, I don't remember a single time it's ended quite like this. Uh, I'm gonna chuck some dudes in there. Because they're seemingly building cap from the other side of the map. And we're about to take their capital. Perfect. Get right up into their face. There we go. Three of you hit the stables that I don't remember being there. We hold that for two minutes and then we can. Finally get rid of this grind first. Which I am now genuinely reconsidering. I don't know if it's just maybe the Mongols play more grindy, but like it doesn't seem to make sense. So 
I'm just worried that the entire thing is going to devolve into spam fests, which are not my cup of tea. So we've won, we're just waiting for the timer. Citizens, you will not be there for much longer. And man, look at all these random troops who didn't fit in the control groups. <laughs> This is not what I expected at all, but for some reason this is what I'm getting. Maybe campaign AI is different from regular AI? That's about the only thing I can think of as to why this is happening. I like how they haven't killed my merchant, that's very kind of them. I'm not going to be as kind. Oh, look at all these units. Just sitting around with nothing to do. Three, two, one. Thank the Lord. <laughs> they somehow lost three more units than we killed. And I somehow lost eight more units than they killed. Don't know how that works. I collected more knowledge even though I suicided my scholars. Oh wow, he got the medieval age before me. Uh, and then Don, there's the speed. Also I should probably, I forgot to get my chat window open, I'm really sorry about that. Let me just get on that real quick. I couldn't see chat this entire time. I just kind of forgot. I went to get water and then I forgot. Let me just get on that real quick. There we go. Ah, uh, there's my player speed, 63, which is pretty low, but again, you saw at the end I was just kind of not into it at all. We got the Mongols card at least. Okay, so there's a couple of things we can do. We can capture these, we can go for India, we can go for Korea. Metal, Tribute 20, Parsons, Furs, Tribute 20, Logistics, Tribute 40. If I put someone here, we can overrun this territory. And then maybe I can fight Japan and Korea. Oh, it's gonna be a pain in the ass, what the fuck? I could go India into Persia as well, but it's not gonna be supported by anything. Yeah, okay. Koreans, no. If I don't do this, are you gonna attack me? Uh, no, I wanna kill both of you. Persians. Persians are these guys. No, I wanna kill them too. Okay, so let's get those guys up there. Next turn, maybe not next turn. In the near future, we'll go invade India. In the meantime, I'm gonna overrun this. I can't afford any cards, but I can afford to fight Korea. I'm just trying to figure out what the hell is happening with the AI. I've played versus toughest a lot of times in skirmishes, and I've never seen them seen them do what I just witnessed.